push pieces of a cloud onto these computing nodes that are in, that are in proximity of mobile devices, of, of IoT devices, and then now you've brought the cloud to them. They have, they have capabilities that they can use for improved situational awareness. They have, have data sets that they can use. Um, they have platforms on which IoT devices and, and mobile devices can, can load data, and that data gets sent to the cloud at some point for processing. So the idea is this continuum from cloud computing to edge computing to mobile computing to Internet of Things that really in, improves situational awareness because you're, bring, you're bringing computing to the, to the data, which is something that, that has been talked about before instead of bringing data to computing. Right. But, anyway, but um, some challenges um, that I understand are important challenges and real challenges for DOD is, is one is security. That's always been a big challenge when it comes to, when it comes to cloud computing. Uh, and when it comes to IoT devices, a big, a big uh, concern is untrusted supply chains. Because, I mean, IoT devices, everybody's building one now, right? There are tons of them. And, and I think we sh the DOD should be able to leverage those. Well, by and large, most IoT devices need to reach back to a, a cloud. Right, for, right. For, for some purposes, whether they're compute, right. compute poor or whatever they are. Right. But So DOD doesn't typically like to give small sensors to people that continuously call home, right? Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, but man, to address some of these, some of these concerns, um, I mean, a technology that is... You, it, I guess it's still emerging, but software-defined networking, software-defined security, being able to adapt security postures as, as things change in the network and the threat model. I think that, that that topic is going, or that technology is going to bring a little bit, or should bring a little bit of relief uh, to DOD, especially when it comes to um, improving situational awareness at the edge. Um, another challenge um, that that DOD deals with, especially at the edge, that, that, the, that my smart grocery list doesn't deal with is operation in, in DIL environments, disconnected, intermittent, limited. Um, of course, if you want to have data flowing back and forth, um, it's not always possible, right? So um, technologies that we can leverage there are, you know, delay tolerant network. I know, Jeff, that's a, a topic of, that you like a lot. Yep, yep. Um, but and na name data networking, too. I'm that's right. Name that's right. Now. That's right. I'll let you introduce that one. <laughs> but delay tolerant networking to be able to deal with periods of, of, of poor connections and intelligent data sharing where, where we, we know what to share, when to share, and, and, and to whom. So we're not just spreading data all over the place. Um, intelligent routing, uh, being able to use each other to be able to send data from point A to point B and being able to leverage um, maybe data that is available at the network level to do that. Um, and also, like I said before, being able, to, if, if you're going to be able to, to push the cloud, you know, to the edge, you have to wait, you have to have ways to, to package those, those capabilities, whether it's data sets, whether it's some, uh, some very intense, you know, machine learning algorithm, whatever it is, but being able to package those and being able to imagine having a, a repository of, of containers, a repository of, of virtual machines that have these capabilities and being able to push them out to the edge, whether it's on demand, um, because I'm at the edge and I need this capability, or whether it's pre-provisioned. If you know you're going to be in a situation where you're not going to have connectivity, being able to go to a central repository and say, I want to put this on my edge node and being able to take it out there. So the ways that in, in which I think the, the DoD could leverage a lot of the technologies would, that I talked about would be improved situational awareness, especially at the edge.